Grade 4 math number 53, equivalent fractions are equal fractions. Okay, we're in our fraction series now. And did you know that fractions that represent the same amount are equivalent fractions? If this is broken into four parts and two are green, and this is broken into two parts and one is green, if the squares are originally the same size, then the fractions are equivalent. Two of these are equal to one of those. All you have to do is take this little line away and you can see that it would be the same amount. But one half is not the same as one fourth. They are not equal. See, that's the not equal sign? They are not equivalent. You'd have to have two fourths to be equal to this half. So one fourth just doesn't cut it, okay? So let's take a look at some more fractions. Are these equal or not equal? All right, let's look at these. Let's look at this one and we'll look at that one later, okay? This is split into three parts. Two of them are green. This one is the same size, see? And it's split into six parts and four are green. And look, it's the same amount. So two thirds is the same as four six. All you have to do is take away these two lines right here and they would be the same, see? It would be two thirds. So it was split into more parts, but equally. So two thirds is equal to four six. All right, let's look at the circles. Half the circle is colored orange. One fourth of the circle is colored orange. They are not equal. More of this is orange than this one. This top part would have to be colored orange in order for them to be equal. So they're not equal. All right. Let's look at these green bars. This top bar is cut into five pieces. The bottom bar is cut into ten pieces. If you can see the lines, they actually line up. See that? One-fifth is the same thing as two-tenths. Two-fifths is the same thing as four-tenths. But then when we get to six-tenths, this one is not colored in. So two-fifths is smaller than, is less than six-tenths. See, big mouth eats big number. So two-fifths is less than six-tenths. Look at this one. This one's broken into six pieces. This one's broken into 12 pieces. One of the six is colored in and two of the 12s are colored in. But you know what? It's the same amount. All you have to do is put another line in the six and it would become 12s. Or take one of the lines away and that would become a six. See? So one six is equal to two 12s. Now, just because something is a fourth doesn't mean that it's the same as another fourth. A fourth of this circle is not equal to a fourth of this big rectangle. Look at how little this piece is. If you put it here, there's so much more that this one has. See? So just because they're both a fourth doesn't mean they're equal. They have to be a fourth of the same thing. They both have to be circles or they both have to be rectangles. Okay? Now I want you to look at this. I've got this graph card paper here, and this box is split into 10 pieces going this way, and one of the 10 pieces is colored orange. This box is cut into 60 squares, and six of them are colored orange, but they're equal because one tenth is equal to six sixtieths. Now, if I split it into 20 pieces and I color in two, they're still equal. These are all equivalent fractions. One-tenth is the same thing as two-twentieths. It's the same thing as six-sixtieths, okay? Now, going back to the idea of just because it's not um, the same thing, because they're uh, both one-fourth, they're, they're not equal. This one's much smaller than this one. I want you to look at it this way, okay? What if someone said, I'm going to let you own half my house and live in half my house. If the, ho if the two houses were like this, then you could say, yeah, 
half the house is the same as half a house. See? Because the houses are the same. These are both half of the same size house. But if someone said, I'm going to let you have half, but it turns out it's a castle, well, that's a lot more than half a house. It's half a castle. So fractions have to be of the same thing to be equal. Half of a house is not the same thing as half of a castle. It's got to be compared to another half house that's just like it. Okay? So now look at what we got here. We got our dog Muffin. <coughs> Excuse me, did you know Muffin eats one large can of dog food every day? If we want to buy enough dog food for one week, there's seven days in a week, we need seven cans. The problem is the store is out of large cans. They only have the small cans. So we need to figure out how many small cans we should buy to feed Muffin. Okay? If she eats one of these a day and they only have small cans, this is eight, this is four, and this is four, Four ounces is half of eight ounces. See, four plus four is eight. Four ounces plus four ounces is eight ounces. So if they're only selling these cans, we're going to need to get two of them to feed her every day because they don't have these. A half plus a half is equal to one whole. Two of these half cans is equal to a whole can. So if she eats seven cans in a week of these big ones, how many of the little ones is she going to need? Well, she's going to eat 14 cans in one week because each one of these is two of these, right? One seventh is equal to two fourteenths. If she eats seven of these and we need to buy two for each one of those, we're going to get 14 of these, right? Because that's two times. She needs 14 of these. So now here's the 14 little cans, see? Two of them is equal to one big can. See that? So she's going to eat two fourteenths every day instead of the one seventh of her weekly amount that she normally eats. So one seventh is equal to two fourteenths. See? Equivalent fractions. You got to make sure that they're equal to the same thing. What if these small cans were only two ounces or three ounces? Then two of them wouldn't equal a big can, would they? What if they were six ounces? Nope, they wouldn't equal. Two of them wouldn't equal a big can. The important thing is that four and four is equal to eight, so that means each of these is half of one of those. That's why it works. So, equivalent fractions have to be, you have to start with the same thing in order for the fractions to be the same. Half of this house is equal to half of that house, but half of that house is not equal to half of that castle. Mm-mm. We're going to keep talking about fractions and how they can be equal, and I'll see you next video. Bye.